Windsor Harmon is in the house for the screening of Sprawl. Tell us about coming out here and your involvement. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm obviously a major supporter of independent films. I mean, uh, you know, it's the heart of filmmaking right now as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, uh, Brian and Tom are really dear friends of mine. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm doing whatever I can to support them in every way. So I'm looking forward to it. Have you uh, gotten a chance to see the film uh, prior to this? No, I have not seen any, you know, not anything what the film is even about. No, he did not tell me anything. He said, "I just want you to see it." And I said, "All right." <laughs> and supporting the art and the craft of the indies, I love that. Um, are you on the whole social media front? Facebook, Twitter. Say that again. Are you on the whole social media front? Oh, Facebook, yeah, Twitter. Yeah. Facebook, Twitter, the whole shebang. Yeah. Let's, let's plug that in. I want people to start following you. Yeah, it's uh, Facebook page is just Windsor Dewey Harmon parenthes uh, the third parenthesis Sunny, and then Facebook uh, Twitter is the same thing. And and then I have a uh, official fan page, which is Windsor Harmon fan page on Facebook as well. So, what are, you, what are you working on these days? I just got through doing a film called Cathedral Canyon, which is an independent movie that we shot out in Arizona. Uh, it's in sound now, and then we're gonna—we've already been accepted to the Arizona, obviously, film festival first. So, and uh, it looks like Italy is gonna buy it. So, we're—I think we're gonna roll with it pretty good. It's a great film. Really was fun doing as well. What do you plan on it? I'm sorry. What do you play on it? Um, I'm kind of a—I uh, was a. I'm an undercover boss top guy in, in the mob and everything who goes clean because he meets this uh, young girl who is, uh, it's, it's based on the polygamy situation that's going on in Arizona and here in California as well about, uh, you know, these guys that are marrying these young girls and stuff. And, you know, in the, in, in the United States, it's rape either way you look at it. It's against the law, but it's yet it's happening underneath our noses because these people have so much money, these churches and these so-called prophets have so much money that they can do it and they're getting away with it. And we had a uh, writer, a reporter who went undercover for three years, wrote the story. And Paul oh, so this is based on a true story. Serious, some, 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 yeah. yeah you, we've had to change the name three times already because of it. And uh, because they were coming after us to try to stop it. So, wow. but Paul Davis, uh, who wrote it, it was his friend who went undercover and he said, Look, I want to write a movie about this. So, they approached me with it about six years ago. I fell out because uh, I was working so much at BB. And then um, it came back to me last year. Everything happens for a reason. I'm telling you, man. And I fell in love with the role, Ryan. Uh, it's a great role, and uh, you know, the, it's a love story based upon you know him finding this young girl who they're trying to marry off, to, and he hears about it and goes and actually saves her. But he busts up the whole thing, and in the meantime, there's a lot of other stuff going on. But it's a great, it's a, it's a really great movie. I've seen a lot of it right now. I'm very proud of it. So. I know you changed it three times. What's the official title right now? Cathedral Canyon. Cathedral. You Canyon. can see the trailer on YouTube. Uh, Cathedral Canyon. The trailer. C A N Y O N. Yeah. All right. So in light of Cathedral Canyon, be honest with us. What's the youngest girl you've ever dated? Youngest girl I've ever dated? Yeah, like the age difference. Oh, my ex-girlfriend I just broke up with. Um, 24 years difference. 24 year difference? He is a true... <laughs> we got him. We got him. We got him on camera to admit it. It just goes to show that age is just a number. It is just a number. Yeah. It is just a number. I'm 24 myself. I'm never going to grow up. Amazing. You know, it is, it is how you feel in the heart. It, it's it, that's what it comes down to. Exactly. Exactly. I've got a nine-year-old, my son, and I mean, he keeps me, you know, on my toes and busy all the time. So I love it. True, honest guy. Cathedral Canyon is his shtick. We're here for sprawl, uh, dude. Thank you so much for coming out. Any summer, any summer plans coming up for you? Um, no. To be honest with you, nothing. It's just uh, I, we, I took my little boy all the way up to the coast to San Francisco, and we just took about 10, 12 days, and you know, hit all the beaches. Went to Pebble Beach. I took he didn't, of course, didn't realize really what he was doing, but and then we. Uh, came back then we went out to Vegas and hung out in Vegas for a week so we're done we're staying here now so hi this is Windsor Harmon and you're watching me on SL TV